Hello, is this Mr. Abbott? Mr. Abbott, I'm calling because I have a great investment opportunity for you. If you would just take... Hello, is this Mrs. Abbott? I'm calling at this hour because I have a great investment opportunity for you. If you would just take a few minutes to listen. No, well that's a... Hello, Mr. Abbott. I'm calling because I have a great investment opportunity for you. If you would just take a few minutes to listen. Well, Mr. Abbott, we're taking donations for... Hello, Mr. Abernathy? Hello. Who is this? Mr. Abernathy, I'm calling because I have a great investment opportunity for you. Oh, cut the crap. <clears throat> Mr. Abernathy, I just wanted to call about- I know what you're calling about. You want me to invest in some scam for some cause. You think with the name Abernathy that I'm not used to people like you going down the phone book? You know, most people just hang up. What's your name, kid? It's Bradley. Well, Bradley. Just what kind of a scam are you planning to pull on me? Sick children? Veterans hospital? Something like that. All right. Tell me, Bradley. Who do you make money off? Doing this kind of thing. Pulling on people's heartstrings? Schmucks. Mostly just schmucks. Yeah. Schmucks. Idiots who don't know better. Or people who are senile and don't know better anymore. You know, you make me sick. Sick to my stomach. Alright, save this speech. I don't do this just because I like scamming people, okay? No. No, I do this because I have to. You never have to. What you do is not right. You don't know me, okay? And you don't know me. But here you are, calling my home when I'm trying to enjoy my morning. Tell me one thing, Bradley. If you've got a heartless little scam that's such a burden on your poor, innocent soul, just how committed to it are you? Because if you choose to practice such a cowardly deeds, I sure hope you're at least decent at being a coward. I call every name in the book from A to Z. I get the money at an ATM in exchange of quarters for the next day. I grab a phone book and write down every name from the next town over. I eat some fast food junk and sleep wherever I can. I wake up at the crack of fucking dawn and walk to the next town every damn mile every day. So don't try to talk down to me like I'm the same trashy bum that you gotta lecture with your wisdom. <laughs> so if you can do all that, why can't you get a real job? You've been waiting to drop that one, haven't you? <laughs> I suppose I have. Well, I'm not stupid. Oh, I'd argue differently. You're a fool among fools. I can hear the wind, which means you must be outside. Which means, judging by your description of your, you know, evening activities, that you're at a payphone. <laughs> I don't even know they've made those anymore. Now, you may be a committed fool, but you're still a fool choosing to dumb himself down. All right, Mr. Abernathy, I'm going to hang up now. Your sermon's going to cost me another quarter, and I don't think you're worth it. <laughs> Just what I'd expect. You may get others with this crap, but you won't get me. Your so-called profession is a fugazi. If you ever truly want to improve your life and do right, you'd spend that money and take my advice rather than 